It can be quite unsettling starting at a new school. It's a completely alien environment, but you don't know anyone. The routine is strange and unfamiliar. It's at times like these where you really need a friend. Someone who's got your back. That's what I said to Mr Johnson, the recently appointed head teacher, who was started alongside the rest of us year sevens. Poor man. Looked very out of place. So I thought it was only fair that I took him under my wing, having been elected school council. In my first week. First of all, I said, the school's great history. Since being rebuilt into an academy in 2016, doesn't mean that we have to be stuck in the dark ages. We need to know where everyone is at all times. So let's adopt my newly developed world-class tag and trace app. He replied saying that we had electronic registers in all the classes, but as I pointed out, it's not really the peoples we're interested in, is it? Next, what's the point of school assemblies? He mumbled something about religion, but I wasn't having it. We live in a multicultural society and need something way more inspirational. How about a thought of the day to reflect on? He looked a little nonplussed at that, so I said, leave it with me. Every Monday, I'll provide you with a week's worth of themes. I quickly sensed he was a little agitated and my just-in-time approach. So I promised, with no extra effort from me, I would get them to him by the weekend so he could gen up in advance. Finally, the school lunch sittings, which rather confusingly jump around throughout the week. I had a new system for us to implement, which would consistently see Year 7s get fed first, followed by the other years in order. When he said this might be considered favouritism, I replied saying that we would counter that argument by moving it on each year, so next year Year 8 would go first, and so on thereafter. He was dumbstruck by the sheer simplicity of my idea. I thought we had achieved a lot in our first session, but as I kept on saying, we're not here just for the fun of it. We don't want to be making mistakes and having to do U-turns now, do we? Although he was still lost for words when he left my office, I could tell that he was relieved that we now had an effective plan in place for the school. Yes, I think I'm going to enjoy my time here.